Ah. Good evening, Tuesday the 17th of October. We have got serious problems around the world. Now, the government has just um, had issued out to it some statistics about institutional racism I suppose it'll end up turned up as uh, and the, the low achievers and people in prison etc well, I suppose it'll come along with bloody uh, sexism and racism and women's rights and whatever <coughs> now then something going on here The bell curve. Dun, dun, dun. Is that 20 years old, this. Denounced as utter racism and sexism. Because it goes against the Marxist credo of equality. That all human beings are the same. Now, Although you'd like it to be the same, everybody wishes it was so, which actually isn't. Um, just as you, if you had more than one child, would know that each individual child is itself. I've bred dogs, and that little yappy puppy Beep, 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 in the whelping pen. Eight years later, a little sod's still at the gate. Yep, 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 yep. People are people. They are who they are. You can help them along and train them, discipline them, but they are who they are. So, one of the main predictors of success in the world in the West is IQ so high IQs 150, 130, 145 very high IQs do really well or can do really well but they have to be conscientious and probably quite agreeable because if you're a tyrant and a bastard and a liar nobody will work for you anyway you get found out and nobody wants to trade with you right something else as you come down to the lower end of the IQ down past like 80 and below very difficult to find employment but that's about 10% of the population 10% 1 in 10 of us now if you're of fairly low IQ and you're violent or disagreeable tend to end up in prison. Sexism. <laughs> Women tend to be more in the middle than the men. They tend to be more average, more towards the average. Which means when you get right out on the limbs, right out here, right out here, there's more men than women. That doesn't mean to say women aren't out there, there's just more men. So the fact that there was a hundred percent of men out there was wrong, that was sexism. So we're getting in we're getting to have some women out there, but women have problems as well don't forget they have bloody periods oh you're sexist 
go through the change. Oh, you're sexist. I've lived with women, I tell you. Oh, God. It can affect their lives. They have babies, man. What an honour. Bring up children, lovely. But we still need to use these very, very high achieving women where we can. So, sexism, because I mentioned this about high achieving women or highly intelligent women. Well, when you come to this end of the distribution, there's far more men than women. So there's far more stupid men. Is that sexism? Or is it actually just plain to bloody sea? And if you're violent and stupid, you end up in prison. Then you look at the statistics in prison. Men, far more men than women, because when a, when a man gets violent, he can cause much more damage than a woman can. Especially to if he's hitting a woman or another man, he can kill him, he can end up in jail for a long time. None of this makes you nice. It makes you more, tend to make you more in them directions. Women are more agreeable and cluster around the centre, which means that they tend to go into caring jobs, nursery schools, infant schools, nursery, nursing. Men tend to go into the more physical trades, plumbing, timber work, North Sea rigs, truck driving. <laughs> Caring work doesn't pay much, dangerous outside work for long hours tends to pay more. The man tends to be able to spend longer at work and the women do, because the women have got the children to look after. No, tend to have the women, children to look after. Now we come to the real nitty gritty. That's the centre line, average. 68% of people are average performers. 100%, 100 mark, average, average, <clears throat> it's a white Caucasian. And I think, on average, the Ashkenazi Jews and the Eastern Orientals, Koreans, Chinese, about 115. When you get right out at the end here again, really bright people. <coughs> Koreans, the Chinese at Google are 40% of the staff. The Ashkenazi Jews are particularly good at literacy, uh, literature. The brighter, the lit more literate, is that why they're in more positions of power? So you don't get to be speech writers just because there's a conspiracy. You've got to be actually be able to write a speech. Let's talk about it. You come down here and the average this is tough. And I'm afraid you've got to be said. The average for the West Indians, 
Af Afro Caribbeans, let's call them Afro Caribbeans. He's 85. So there, bump. Which is why could that be why there's more Afro Caribbeans in jail? It's not racism. Point of the camera. It's not racism. It's the bell curve. And while we're not allowed to talk about this, more Africans, Afro-Caribbean, are going to jail. I, apparently, it's very, very difficult to improve IQ. No matter how much you train it, it's just there. So, we have average IQ, Caucasian Europeans, ruled, as the far right will say, by the damn Jews. who the whites who are oppressing the Afro-Caribbeans are we going to talk about this or are we just going to fight <laughs>